Dixie Dash with five points up on the board and once again back in the pack. Well, three Arizona blockers up the road. Having to push it, push it, push it. For Sin City, 10 points on the jam. Well, Stoner using his guys to offense, but Deep Bailey says, ah, ah, ah. Arizona is really leading it, but making the work for those points. This blocker is definitely having the work cut out. For another cut. On the first team. Coming up on the jam line, 5150 Localina jamming for Arizona. And that is just okay. Jamming for Sin City. Arizona with a couple blockers in the penalty box. Only oh, two blockers out on the track. And we have three points for Arizona. Bringing out two on the Sisu Mouth Guard official scoreboard. Our score is now 18 to 7. And that is the fourth sub of the jam line for Fabulous Sin City Roller Girls. And 0-0, zero, zero, Alyssa Goldstein representing Arizona, ready to score some points. Okay. Electing to start up right against the jam line. The first takes the inside track, lead jam before oh, even hitting turn one. Really Very efficient lead jam status there for Sin City. Chasing past the hundred hills. Force in the back, goes straight through the middle. Picks up four points, goes off the jam, leaving Arizona scoreless. It was a smart fo footwork getting her through and forcing that jam to court before more damage can be done. And now 777, we have Bustin Ace on the jam line representing Fabulous City Roll Go. And that is Lou's Chaos up on the jam line for Arizona Roller Derby. First whistle blows, the jams are set free. Busted Ace, not to the inside, recycled to the back of the pack. Fish Dance Club. The Catfish Dance Club will be the official after party location for Friday and Sunday night. And now on the jam line we have Dixie Dash, which is leading us again. 5 2 1 for the Fabulous Sin City Road Girls. Now it's local in the jam for the 10th City Terrors. One of the Arizona Blockers starting off in the penalty box. Sin City will be full of out there. Jam on jam action, forcing uh, some more time, jump off that clock. Get a few more defenders out there. We have the lead off of the front 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 of the 
And 
Williams, 311 Dislocate. The fabulous Nelson Roller Bones. We would like to thank Roller Bones, official sponsor of the Big O Tournament. Roller Bones. AKA Skate One, produce one of the top line products for quality conscious skating. When you need superior protection, make sure it's certified. Make sure it's the SP. Looks like he blocked to the back and said he blues counts to the penalty box. That's going to be Sin City with the power jam. And then... <laughs> this little cake got hit to the back, but they have to recycle right back to the pack. So very slight action. Very slight. Trying to hold it up. Slowing it down a little bit. But five points for Fabulous Sin City Roller Guard. Very first jam on this battle. Sin City had a half jam. The Cook of Thunder on the Cassie Jam line. We have five on the board right now, and make it ten. Ten points on the board for Dislocate and the Sin City Roller Girls. Rolling Thunder knocks out O'Henry and goes. Make it a look bad with that passive offense. Think about how much this. The jam has just got to work. They're bridging to keep holding it back. Keep it fighting. And they've knocked it back and then she's recycling right back to the beginning again. What an impressive hit that is. An impressive blocking in general by Arizona. Incredible control, both spatial and physical. Being able to bridge it and keep that battle going. You have to be so precise to get that 10 feet right. Very effective blocking, bridging, the whole works. Another four points. Adam Wills is the official will of the WFTDA and proud to give back to the Derby community. Adam Wills. And on the channel right now, for Arizona Roller Derby, we have 5150 Localina and 4 the Force for Fabulous City Roller Derby. MI6. Against number 69, Great jamming by the Force. The local Lena also able to make her way through the pack. Full jammers now on their scoring pass. The pack is speeding up and speeding up. Makes it difficult for those jammers to catch up when they're setting the pace so quick. And managing very effective to control the situation there. No points for either jammer. We're 15 minutes into the first half. And once again, Sin City is double the score of Arizona. It's not a large lead though, just 24 points. With a score of 48 to 24. Now on the channel line, 0-0. This is the gold team for the 10th City Terrors of Arizona. And 777 Buston Ace is the jammer for fabulous Sin City Roller Coaster. Austin Ace. Roller skating, I mentioned some of us are interested in it. Roller doll skates. 
was, it was established in September 2009 and is scale owned and operating and they specialize in roller derby gear and apparel. They're a full service shop that is guaranteed to put the rock in your roll. Now we have an official timeout. Checking to make sure everything is kosher and perfect and 100%. a rather more lengthy and fabulous announcement from Green Monster. Green Monster is the proud maker of some of the most innovative and well-known products in Derby. With brands like Antique Skate Books, Boots, the only high-top boot in the industry, to the number one toe stop in Derby, Gumballs, and the cutting-edge design of the reckless wheels. Green Monster has continued to develop the most advanced and highly sought-after brands in Derby. Green Monster, instigated of the next big thing in Derby. roller skate and that doesn't happen if the skates malfunction so in order to be, keep it safe and actually be able to follow the skaters they're having a time out to fix that. That's why they should visit our vendors. There's a lot of great vendors out there. You can visit them. They'll get your skates taken care of. They'll get you all suited up all dirty like and looking just sexy as ever. Fast and strong is the new sexy. <laughs> Speaking of vendors, some of our vendors we have out there, we have Cruise Skate Shop, we have Derby Crush, Derby Supply, and Flat Track Revolution. Now, Splain, we have just about 13 and a half minutes left in this first half of play. We have scored 52 to 24 in favor of Sin City. And Arizona has won the last three times they played Sin City, so this is, I imagine Sin City must be feeling pretty good right now. But it's still very early in the game, and one or two power jams could completely change that, and so could hit my credit in this point in the proceedings. Chaos Jam for Arizona Roller Derby up at the front of the pack, Lee Jammer. And 521 Dixie Dash still fighting for the way through the middle and up and can she make it? Yes, through the pack! Wait for it, wait for it, and she's through. Can I call it if it doesn't happen? <laughs> Very quick pack out there. Taking those jammers a lap or two and then catch back up to that fast pack. The loose tails does so. With his left, with his right. Calls off the jam, picks up four points in the process. And one point for NC. <laughs> and 5150 Localina for Arizona Roller Derby and 311 to Slurpee. Arizona was very 
effective at neutralizing it. I believe they only picked up five points in that power jam. We've been seeing some great control here, great vision. And of course the obligation is on both sides of the team, so both teams to maintain that. Very easy situation to get into penalty trouble here. You've got to show a lot of control. Definitely have to show that control. And indeed I see there's a direction of gameplay penalty. Yes, on an Arizona skater. That's exactly the kind of trouble you can get into in a power jam. And a second penalty. Arizona looking like they're in a little bit of trouble now. Only two blockers on the track. But it's not all bad news. They... End of the jam. That Arizona jammer had served the penalty time, so it's no longer a power jam. But two of those Arizona blockers have been sent to the penalty box. Now on jam line, zero zero. This is a gold team for Ten City Terra and. For CE, the boss for Fabulous and City Rollers. I just like saying fabulous. It is quite fabulous. It's, it's absolutely fabulous. And Lee Chama, the boss. Boss wasting no time. Almost like she just moves her hand and thinks about it with her mind. And something moves the walkers out of the way. This is not the jamming you're looking for. Nor are the droids. So this is both staying through the pack. Time to catch up. Limiting the damage. It's still four points. The fabulous Sin City Roller Cup. Now the line, 777, Bustin Ace for the Fabulous Sin City Roller Girls. And 924, Loose Chaos for the Arizona Roller Derby, 10th City Terrace. Now on the jam line we have 521 Dixie Dash with the fabulous Sin City Roller Girls and 5150 Lucolina for the Arizona Roller Derby 10th City Terrace. Body wise, empowering clients through education, Pilates based training, and hands on treatment, specializing in back and neck pain, sports injuries, motor vehicle and workman's comp injuries. Become body wise today. Sure, the rip. So 
the fourth by herself on the jam line. In the fourth, Lee Jenner for the fabulous Sin City Five Girls. Nimbly going up to the middle of the app, man. And through the pack for five points, a grand slam. And once again, we've seen a power jam that it's very easy for people to go to the box. Seeing a lot of action out there on the track. And almost as soon as she's back out there on the track, local leader called for a low block, sent back to the penalty box. That's going to be another power jam for Sin City. But it looks like that incredible control has paid off. And Fossi is, the force is, you can send the box for releasing the other jammer. Look around. Coming up to the middle and through. A lot of work, and we've got another direction of gameplay, Penalty. Most impressive. Jam by the force. So both jams racking up the points now. It's going to go for the full two minutes now. Great pack out there. There's no time to slow down. Under four minutes to go in this first half of the what is Sin City Signet. 84 points. Arizona with 46 up on four. Still a very close game. Very low scoring. We haven't seen a lot of high scoring jams thus far. That's right. An incredible control around this power jam. Um, yeah, it's 7-7-7, seven, 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 Boston 8. And 0-0, zero, zero, this is a gold team on the jam line. Yeah. Up to a very physical start. But it is a physical team that's closing our way through. Empowering around the track. Pussy is trying to get through. It's a very effective team at the front of the back. It almost doesn't feel like right to say that the Arizona team is forcing their way through. Almost like it's patented by Sin City. Well, I might get in trouble with Mel Lucas for these these days, and the buyer, very aggressive in the chasing, but unfortunately, we have another cut creating a power jam situation. Yeah, once again, that Arizona, we're going to be jamming in the penalty box, this time for cutting the track. And we have an out-of-play penalty sending a precious uh, 10 city blocker to the left. 45 ammunition. That Arizona penalty box filling up quick, only two skaters left out there on the track. Woo! Coming through. <laughs> Try. Back. It's Arizona blockers holding back bus things, but she makes it work here, picks up five points. It's hard for two to do the work of four out there. Indeed. No back forcing her to go back to reform that pack. And a failure to reform on 1-7. Uh, that's Susan B. Bruzen. She was the closest Fabulous Sin City Roller Girls skater to the contestant her, so she had to charge forward and then they had to pack up again. It's the obligation of Woodson. Very good out there by Sigmund Jord on Arizona. That's a bold claim, the very best. Well, it's written down in front of me, and uh, words wouldn't lie. I don't do that. If I was going to get a helmet, I would get S1. And I would probably, like, 
chuck up the points that I had of wearing that helmet on the Sissy Math God Skullboy. He's going out being 108 to 50 in a very intense first half. Very intense indeed, very physical. Lots of hard hits out there, resulting in a lot of penalties, which you hate to see. But... Since it breaks back, it dislocates, starts 
your scoring pass for those fabulous roller girls. Arizona off to a good start. Three jams, three league jammer status. Liz? I was standing up there. I'm glad you got to see that. And on the jam line, we have the Fools. And if I can do your round, Ref Wilson, looks we like have Loose Chaos. I was going to say, it looks like Loose Chaos out there. Arizona with 15 points in the second half. Sin City still looking to get her first set of points. An incredible new lead jammer again. That is four in a row. 100% efficiency on lead jammer status. The force is coming up close behind. You know, it's, it's hard to break out in front of the force. When you break out in front of her, she is just not happy about it. Did you see the determination in her eyes? It was incredible. And hopefully, yes, she's okay. It's a bit of a worry. And we have a timeout now being called for the fabulous Sin City Roller Girls, I do believe. This timeout brought to you by Sisu Mouthguards and their school. Green Monster is the proud maker of some of the most innovative and well known products in roller derby. I've mentioned a bunch of them antique skateboards, boots, gumballs, and they continue to do a bunch of things. Instigate, and, and they assure us they're going to be the instigator of the next big thing as well. It's a little truncated version. You know, we'd like to thank our official. Bruce, for coming out to the Big O Tournament. We love to see Bruce at every World Derby Tournament that he does. His beautiful smiling face. His wonderful charm. Now in general, we have Boston Ace, Fabulous and Sweet Locals. And I believe that's a local Atlanta for the Arizona World Derby Tennessee Tarot. And that is an incredible crowd out cheering for Bruce! Woo! Bruce, 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 Bruce! That's an idea, yeah, Bruce is the name Bruce, just in general principle. And now for Lee Jam, we have Boston Ace breaking the, the trend towards Lee Jam. First time for our fabulous Sin City to get the lead in this half. That is correct, five jams in, the first Lee Jam or status. Time out must have worked in some sort of way. Local Elena stuck at the front, just trying to push through that final blocker, and she is through, and sticks it. Yeah, sometimes they get out in front, but then they get kind of swallowed up by the pack. Those blockers just have that look in your eyes, just trying to catch up to them as a last resort. We weren't able to do it that time. Yeah. And on the jam line, we have Melissa Goldstein, 0-0 zero, zero for Arizona Holiday Intensity Terrors, and 5-2. Yeah, five, two, one. <laughs> Dixie Dash. Another reminder, there you go. I mean, a ton of wonderful members out there. We have Arnold Rose Jerry, Dirty Couture, and Joe Show Promotions. Go check them out. After this game, of course. Very fast pack, and this Goldstein off of the front of it, and picks up Lee Jammer status. Right along that inside line. Did you see how close it was? It incredible. The agility of these jammers is just breathtaking. Great blocking by Arizona Roller Derby. Dixie Dash trying to push away to the front, and recycle, but keep pushing away. Dust, uh, dust 
Very physical being able to lay out there. Dixie Dash still on that initial pass. Alyssa Goldstein trying to pick up points. Incredible blocks from both sets of blockers, knocking jammers to the ground almost simultaneously. Five more points on the board at the end of that jam. Ten points on the jam, and then Alyssa Goldstein has 18 points in this half. Picking up a lot of points for Arizona. Now in the jam line, we have 9-2-4. It was chaos for Arizona on the way to Tennessee Terrace. And 3-1-1, dislocate the battle with Sin City Boulevard. Now Sin City had a 38-point lead at the start of this half, and now that has put them down to 15 points. Very close. And it looks like we have an official time now. Certainly the hands on shoulders. <laughs> but then we have the swoopy swoopy, yay derby, and five seconds. Swoopy Swoopy is the full technical name for the swooping whistle. It means bring it on. And coming up the inside line, see an incredible jammer. Jamming action. I'm sorry, I should not have the microphone. Loose chaos, forcing my door and into the back again. But, oh, uh, just a little bit too hungry and she's going for a cut. That was a rough one. She got knocked down. Almost stayed in bounds, but didn't quite do it. Hockey outside, that's going to be a power jam for the fabulous Sin City Roller Girls. And this okay, coming through on her initial pass. Kissing the blocker coming back from the penalty box. We'll make her way through. This location takes a hot points. Five points on the board for Sin City. the shot in the arm that Sin City needs. I, I think in a lot of ways penalties are really telling a story here. In the first half, we had only nine penalty minutes served by the fabulous Sin City Roller Girls as compared to a 21 penalty minutes by the Arizona Roller Derby Tennessee Terrors. So I think that's where a lot of the points differentials we're seeing in Derby these days are. And very important is that four of those minutes in the first half were by Arizona's jammers. See those power gems happen in favor of the other team. It's really tough to keep up. Yes, indeed. Coming through for another five points. Now it's a four on Very impressive jam. 20 points on the board for dislocation. Dislocate and the fabulous Sin City Roller Girls. What were we saying about power jams? That they can just make or break your team. Now, I should turn the microphone towards my face. 5150, Lake Elena for Arizona Roller Daddy D, 10 City Terrace. And we have Fossi, the Force, the fabulous Sin City Roller Girls. The Force is with her. As well to get, she takes that inside line, pushes people away with her mind. to stick on that outside line and just comes through to, to, to quickly pursue. By 5150, I mean, look at the lane. Horse gets knocked to the side, stays on one skate, calls off the jam, picks up three points. Three points on the board for Sin City in that jam. Now in the jam line, we have 777, Bust and Ace. And we have 2012 Maria Montoya representing Arizona. Now you know, Sin City has only picked up a little jam status, two jams in the second half. But they got one power jam, they were able to pass 25 points. And that's just been the difference. Incredible. And now I have a big jammer, Sin City. Plus an ace who scored the most points for her of, of any jammer in the first half of the 
Well, I guess it's just kind of inappropriate. What happens at the after party or in Las Vegas, as they say, stays in said place. Empowering clients through education and Pilates based training and hands on treatment, specializing in back and neck pain, sports injuries, motor vehicle, and motor vehicle, cough injuries. Become body wise today. <laughs> breathe, breathe. And on the jam line, Alyssa Goldstein, for Arizona World Cup, and Fossey, the force of the City World Cup. Alyssa Goldstein, the highest scoring jammer for Arizona with 18 points in the second half. But that won't stop the force. Tones the long week inside of that turn. Picks up lead jammer status for Sioux City. With the power of a mind and possibly her body. Most definitely the she comes through. That is the power of the force. And Alyssa Goldstein coming through on, on her initial pass. Now in the jam line we have 2012 Maria Montoya for Arizona Royal Derby. We have 777 Austin Ace for Fabulous Sin City. And now on German line, 924 Lewis Chaos for Arizona. And 521 for Dixie Dash for Fabulous Sin City. After this battle, go check out some more of our vendors, including the NS, Hobos, S1 Helmets, Sharper Spectrum Arts, Geek Geek, and Star Pass Derby Apparel.
just under 11 minutes to go in the second half. We have a score of 166 to 122 in favor of Sin City. 44 points separate these two teams. Thank you to the Sissy Mouth Guard scoreboard. Now the gym line, 0-0, this is gold team for Arizona. And 3-1-1, dislocate for Fabulous Sin City. Dislocate right along the inside line. Very impressive maneuvering. Great skating there. By dislocate, she picks up Lee Jammer's status. And Daria holding back. And this is a good scene for a little bit, but she finally manages to get past. Going off, earning another four points by dislocate. I want to send a little bit of love to my NSO hobos. We had a shout out for their booth earlier, but being a hobo myself, I, I guess that's a conflict of interest, but check out their fabulous pink moustaches and enjoy their fabulousness on the track as they drink the best of fish and Looks like the force is jamming the Sin City. Forrest picks up Luke Jammer's status, yet again. Maria Montoya almost making it through to the front of the pack, but then being held back by Geneva Convention, the convict just forcing her right back. Another five points from the Forrest. Looks like a low block call on Maria Montoya. That's going to leave Sin City with the power jam. Fourth power jam of the second half. We have four in the first half, four in the second half. Eight power jams so far in the battle for Sin City. Yes, More impressive offense, getting low, getting ready. And the force comes through for another five points. Going for the track. It's interesting to see the various techniques that are being used as this as task offense evolves. But it is so easy to wrap up those stop locks. You can get a, you can get a direction of gameplay penalty for attack for hit blocking uh, in the clockwise one direction, but also just by standing still and blocking from a stationary position, you can get a direction of gameplay penalty. Some great blocking by Arizona knocks the force out. Almost gets her to cut the track. Doesn't do it though. She calls off the gym. Picking up another four points. And now on the jam line, nine to four, loose chaos for Arizona Roller Derby, Ten City Terrace. And seven, 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 bust an ace for Fabulous Sensory Roll. Yeah. 
Michael Jones still working on that initial pass. We have Arizona up in the front of the pack. Some very tight walls there. But it's Alyssa Goldstein posting her way through. And then we lead Gemma. Up in the front of the pack and makes her way through. Starts her scoring pass. Just looking for Sin City. Melissa Goldstein is back in the pack, picking up points for Arizona. Picks up three points and calls off the jam. It'll be Sin City scoreless for the jam. In 2012, Maria Montoya out there for Arizona Jameson Terrace. And coming up, the fabulous Sin City Roller Girls, we have 777 Bustin' Ace.
2012 Maria Montoya for our Santa Rosa City Turn. And Fossey, the Foss, for the Fabulous City Rolling Girls All Stars. And number 426, Serge. Alcoholic Jam Rock. Ready to go. Some very tight walls. Thank you. 